Well, the first thing you need to do in class is to install the software. The software that we use is Visual Studio and I'm going to take a look at a particular version which is Visual Studio Community and it is for Windows. Um, so at visualstudio.com uh, there's a list of choices of uh, downloads uh, that I have access to. Uh, I want Visual Studio Community. It's a free download as opposed to professional or enterprise which do have a, more features but Community does what, uh, what we need it to do. So I'm going to download and install this one. And this one is Visual Studio 2015. Currently it's going to be 2017 later on, but um, for now the textbook uses 2015. There's also a choice. So Visual Studio Community for Windows is going to be most of the installs. Uh, most of you have Windows, but if you don't, if you have a different operating system, say the Mac or something like that, you may want to look at Visual Studio Code. Now Visual Studio Code, it's a lightweight version of Visual Studio, um, but it does allow you to run programs. The um, only thing is, is that when you download it and install it, it isn't really set up um, for C Sharp or Visual Basic or, or any of those, so you have to there's more steps you need to go through to get it to get it up and running um, your programs. So you might want to take a look at this uh, if you got something other than uh, a newer version of uh, of Windows. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and download and install Visual Studio Community, and um, we can take a look at that. So once I download the beginning, in this case it ha happens to be an executable or .exe file, um, <coughs> what uh, you can usually do is uh, download, um, you double click to run the setup program, go ahead and install it, and then just follow the defaults uh, to install the software. And uh, with any luck, if you're if you have a computer which is compatible and all things run okay, then the program will install. I wouldn't say quickly. It takes a, It's a big program, so it takes a while to install. But uh, hopefully you'll be up and running. After you've downloaded and installed the software, the first time it comes up, it's going to ask you, several questions about getting started and it takes quite a while to go ahead and set up and uh, get everything running the first time. Um, but after it does, uh, you will be able to run your programs. Uh, one thing you will notice is that it is really helpful, uh, if not mandatory, to have a Microsoft ID and password, uh, which is free to do if you don't have one already but register with your Microsoft ID and password and you should be ready to go. Okay, well that will do it.